Mike, hello. Hi. Hi. And welcome to this, the Outside Xbox Quiz of the Year 2021. Right. Oh, it's my favorite, my favorite annual tradition. Oh, what a treat. 2021, maybe wasn't it. No, maybe. certainly wasn't it. Maybe it wasn't quite what we were hoping it'd be. Kind of stumbled there, got his yep. legs all tangled in the hurdles, <laughs> hurt itself quite badly on the track. Embarrassing for you, 2021. <laughs> Do better. Before you defrag your brain and purge all your memories of 2021, I want to find out how well you remember the year gone by. And then I can purge all memories of 2021. Yeah. Get into defrag mode. Great, 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 yeah. great, great, great. Archive it along with 2020. Exactly. Yeah, put it in the recycle bin. So let's get started with round one. Yes, yeah, seems like a sensible place to start. Round one, Jane, is the complete the Eurogamer headline round. Oh, my favourite! So, 2021 was a more low-key year for video game mm, news. You're right. But let's see if you were still paying attention. I wasn't. I can guarantee I wasn't. Okay, well, we'll find out. I'm going to read you a series of headlines from okay. Eurogamer.net, and I want you to fill in the blank to complete the headline. If I was paying attention and if I remember. Yes. It's a test of memory and focus. True, that's why it's such a hard round. <sighs> Okay, headline number one. Seth Rogen blank solo movie is reportedly in development. Blank solo movie? Yes, so ah. it's a character who's not getting their not own... Not Han Solo. Not Han Solo. Not Han Solo movie by Seth Rogen. No. Is, uh, is Solo capitalised in this headline or is no. it not? So it's a solo so, movie for a video so game like character or... Weed similar. Wars, The Adventures of Blunt Solo or anything like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, good. I just thought I'd establish that. Okay, uh, TMTM. TM. Yeah. You can't have that, yeah. Seth Rogen, if you're listening. He's already got it, probably. What does Solo movie mean? Okay, okay. So, from context clues, it means it's, um, it's a movie about a character who normally appears ensemble. Which video game characters come to mind when you think of Seth Rogen? Well, not Knuckles the Echidna, because Idris Elba immediately springs to mind as the perfect casting for that character. Yeah. I mean, there was no other choice. Yeah, really, of course. Was there. Had, to be, <laughs> had to be Big Driss. Yeah, exactly. Um, so who else? So Precisely. Like, a, like a Smash Bro or something. Um, a solo movie suggests that there was already a movie, that he there was an ensemble movie where he was a sort of sidekick or something. So I'm going to say that he played Snorlax in Detective Pikachu and it's a Snorlax solo movie. I'm going to say a Smash Bro. It's not Minecraft Steve. Wait, what if it is Minecraft Steve? Is it Minecraft Steve? The answer is Seth Rogen Donkey Kong solo movie reportedly in development. What? Yep. Oh, of course, it's Donkey Bloody Kong. Yep. Oh, um, well, it's Seth Rogen, I can picture it now. He's never worn a tie in his life. The studio behind Nintendo's upcoming Super Mario Bros. movie will next make a solo Donkey Kong film, a new report suggests. The report suggests other Kongs may also be involved. Cranky Kong, voiced by Fred Armisen, is a likely contender. Hmm. And like Rogan, will also debut in the Super Mario Bros. film, but isn't expected until at least 2023. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can, I can imagine that. Seth Rogen Donkey Kong film. All right. All right, sign me up. Headline number two. War Thunder player posts blank to try to convince the dev to make a virtual tank more realistic. How many words in the blank? Three. Oh, so like a tank impact crater, or uh, someone mutilated by a tank shell or something dreadful. Um... Oh, uh, like classified documents, right? Real life tank? So there's this tank in War Thunder, and this like tank nerd was was basically like, no, 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 it's that's not accurate. Here, let me show you these like classified documents to show you how the tank's supposed to work. And presumably, loads of like armed militias around the world were like, hmm, that's interesting. It's got an orange glowing weak spot at the back. Uh, correct, Mike. War Thunder player posts classified military documents Whoa! to try to convince the dev to make a virtual Whoa! tank more realistic. Oh no, they're in prison now. Yep. Oh no, I missed that. That's, a, that's an amazing story. Amazing story here <laughs> from July 2021. Wow, July feels like longer ago to be honest. But yeah. I do remember that one. How did they get a hold of classified military documents? Uh, the player in question uh, took, was to a the, super hacker. took to the War Thunder forum to post an image from a Challenger 2 battle tank army equipment support publication that which he is kind of like a user manual. Absolutely should not have had access to. It appears the user who posted the classified image is in the British Army. Whoa. Uh, and so they presumably just didn't understand that that was classified data. It's just yeah. like it's a user manual, like for a toaster. Uh, okay, next headline. Yes. Blank is now playable on Twitter. Okay, so this will be like. 
don't know, Doom or Quake or, you know, some classic game that they'll have made playable from within Twitter? Well, I mean, you know, my mind immediately leaps to the game that they put on everything, which is Doom, right? Um, but it feels a little too easy, doesn't it? It feels a little too easy. I haven't spent a lot of time on Twitter this year. Yes, I know, I'm, I'm Good. great. <laughs> yeah. Congratulate well me now. No, I haven't spent that much time on Twitter, so I haven't actually noticed that. I'm yeah. gonna say, it's, it's Quake too advanced. No, you can play Quake in a browser. You can play lots of things in a browser. It'd be a game with like an anniversary this year, and they would have done it for the anniversary of that game, I suppose. Doom. Is it Doom? I don't know. Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should give you the point because it is really? Doom. Is it Doom? It's oh, Doom. man. Yeah. Oh. You can give me a half if you like, if you're feeling generous. Mm. I, know, I know Christmas is over, but surely you're still full of... I'm going to throw, throw it over to Adjudicator James as usual. Ooh, half a point. Half a point? All right, fine. I, I think that's fair. He, did, yeah, he didn't actually give, didn't the, actually give the answer. Mm. It is Doom. Yes! Correct. Yes, uh, one point. Thanks to Score new bot, Tweet to Doom, Twitter users can reply to tweets with various commands to control Doom Guy and receive a video clip of the results. Oh, that's so cool! When did that happen? Uh, that is a new story from October this Man, year. Man, what else has been? What else have they been hiding from me on Twitter? Andy, is Twitter good now? No, God, no. So I should stay off <laughs> Twitter. Stay off it. I'll just let you know when various when games various are playable. Various classic games are playable oh, on Twitter. Yeah. All right, if you would. Okay. Okay. Next yes. headline. Dr. Dre is working on music for a new blank, says Snoop Dogg. According to Snoop source, Snoop Dogg. According Dogg. to reliable source, Mr. Snoop Doggington. <laughs> so the blank must be a game series that has long been forgotten. What would Dr. Dre be working? I mean, would he be in, he wasn't involved with the old Def Jam game. I'm just fantasizing now about a new Def Jam Fight for New York sequel. <laughs> but that's... Dr. Dre was never in Def Jam. He was never in those games. No, yeah. Snoop Dogg was. My money's on me, oh, kicking your well. bitch ass all night long. I, I'm, I'm gonna say, like a fighting game, maybe? Snoop Dogg's done a bunch of stuff with fighting games. And other games. Wait, maybe it's just something like GTA. Is it just Grand Theft Auto? I don't know. A new Fortnite, where Fortnite is two words instead of one. Dr. Dre is working on music for a new Grand Theft Auto, says Snoop Dogg. Yes, and that interview. would be big news, because it's always big news. Even though everyone knows there's a new Grand Theft Auto being made. In an interview with like, oh Rolling God. Stone, Snoop, who was asked uh, whether we'll see any new music from Dr. Dre soon, said, I do know he's making great effing music, and some of his music is connected to the GTA game that's coming out. So I think that will be the way his music will be released, through the GTA video game. <laughs> that I should... Reiterate has not been announced and Snoop Dogg is just out here telling people about it. Hi everyone, Andy here, just in the middle of the, uh, the edit for the uh, quiz of the year here. I'm just popping in for a second to say that uh, approximately 38 minutes after we finished filming this and uh, we'd left the studio for the year, Rockstar announced that this was actually referring to a Grand Theft Auto Online DLC in which you work with Dr. Dre who's making new music so uh, yeah, about 38 minutes after we, uh, we had this question in the quiz, it became completely obsolete. But that's what it's a reference to. There's some footage right now on the screen. So uh, yeah, that's what Snoop Dogg was talking about. So I guess the, me the message here is Snoop Dogg is not a reliable source for news stories about video games. Anyway, back to the quiz. Hope you're enjoying it. Uh, see you there. Okay, your final headline. Yes. Tekken 7's next DLC character is hard-hitting Polish blank, Lydia Sobieska. Oh, I know this. Was she a teacher or something like that? It's a, uh, she's a minister? Is that the correct politician? Can I have that? Yeah, it's, I'm not gonna get it right. Teacher is as close as I could get to that. It's that kind of job. It's that kind okay. of job that is normally a nurturing, you know, nice, helpful job. And she's like going around punching people in the face. Okay, well, I remember this story because the person in question is a, a fairly high-ranking Polish politician. I think we can give you that. Is it? Is it foreign minister? Uh, I, or is it? I, I, yeah? I, yeah, I yes. give you the point for that. It is, uh, she is in fact the prime minister of Poland. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Tekken 7's next DLC mm -hmm. character is heart-hitting Polish prime minister, that Lydia okay, Sobieska. Fine. Yeah, it was a ludicrous job, yes. But yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Lydia has always been an upright and resolute woman. She believes that justice requires absolute power, which is why she's shown great interest in karate from a very young age. Well, Prime Minister? Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Don't then. seem surprised after we've given you the point, because yeah. now I think oh, okay. I should take yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you're like, Jane. You should be like, yeah, like I said. Like yeah, like I say. Yeah. yeah. Prime minister. minister. I said yeah. high ranking, and it doesn't get more high ranking than that, but I, wow. I've got to say, it makes it a refreshing change to be literally punched in the face by the Prime Minister <laughs> instead of figuratively punched in the face by the Prime Minister. In universe, mm. the canon reason is that uh, the war started by the Mishima Zaibatsu is greatly affecting Poland and she's ah. committed to settle the situation with her own fists with force. by winning the King of Iron that's Fist so tournament. Cool. That's, a, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, a, that's probably the best news of 2021, to be honest. <laughs> You got two and a half out of five, so you got half marks. Yeah, that's all right. Which is, which is all right. Average. Nice. Nice and average. You got two out of five in... So that's all right. It's all right. How did Mike do? You got two and a half. We gave him half a point. I'm behind. Because James is a soft touch. Oh, well, I'm, I'm lagging behind by half a point. Okay. How are you feeling going into round two? Pretty confident? averagely. Are you feeling averagely confident? Pretty averagely confident, yeah. You're feeling average. <laughs> all right, good. Uh, okay, we're moving on. Good. To round two. Good. Okay, Mike, round two is time loop anagrams. The big trend in gaming this year was time loop games, but oh no, the names of these time loop games have become scrambled in the space-time continuum. Oh no. And I need your help to sort them out. Oh no. I'm going to show you the scrambled names of six time loop games. I'm glad you've written them down for me. <laughs> and I want you to tell me what they are. Okay. Okay, so we have Ruler Ant, Poor Hole, I Fetch Rotten Goatee, Melting C. Okay. Poo Tail HD. Mm, good. And one menu, it's two. Okay, so number six is 12 minutes, right? I know number six. Number six is 12 minutes. Correct. 12 I got it minutes. from the numbers. Yes. Well, there you okay. go. Good one. All right, one of them is going to be Deathloop. Poo Tail HD has to be Deathloop. And that's got to be Poo Tail HD. To my great, my great regret, that's not an actual game. Poo Tail HD yeah, is yeah, yeah. in fact Deathloop. Deathloop. We got that. Correct. Great. Good. Okay. What else can we get? And then were there more time loop games than just twelve minutes of Deathloop? There were loads of them. At uh, least six. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. What were the other tile time loop games? Uh, Returnal is number one. Correct. Um, Returnal is number one, isn't it? Yeah. Ruler Ant. Ruler Ant is Returnal. Correct. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Poor hole, poor hole, poor hole. Um, that's probably loop something as well, isn't it? It's like... Well, loop suggests loop is in there, right? So what other letters do you have there? Uh, H and an O. That leaves R-H-E and another O. R-H-E... Oh, so it's going to be O looper. Hero loop or something? Loop hero? Loop, loop hero. hero, correct. Hero can... looper. Hero loop. Loop hero. Loop hero. Yes. <laughs> I fetch rotten G O T Y. Uh, that's really tricky. Um, okay, I'm just going to go to my mind palace, Andy. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to walk around my mind palace, okay. walking up to my game collection, sort of fingering the spines of, of my games, going like, yeah, ti time loop, time loop game. And I fetch rotten goatee is oh yes. No, nope, it's going to get boring if you wait for me to okay. figure it out. I could do it, but we'd be here for such a long time, and no one needs that. Uh, Forgotten City. Yes, the Forgotten City. Of course, I have played that one. All the letters, they're right there, are staring <laughs> me right in the face. And uh, it even sounds I fetch rotten goatee. It sounds like Forgotten City. Yeah, anyway. And I didn't play the other one. What was that? Uh, that was Lemnis Gate. Oh, I would never have gotten that. Which is a, a time loop based Dang. shooter. Lemnis Gate, yeah. Mm. I've heard of it, but I'd completely forgotten it existed and I didn't know it had anything to do with time loops. So. I'll take. I'll take. Five, five out of six. six. That's not a bad score. Good, good job. Thank you. Does it kind of make you want to play Poo Tail HD? I would love to play Poo Tail HD, let me tell you. Uh, you got four out of six. Sorry, Forgotten City. Which How is, did Mike do? He got five out of six. He did get no! Forgotten City, but he also didn't get Lemon Escape. So. Now I'm one and a half behind. Well, maybe you can make it up in round number three. I sure hope so. What is it? Mm. 
Round three, Mike, yes. is the Metacritic user reviews. Once again, one thing I've enjoyed doing in 2021 is reading angry gamers yelling about games they don't like on Metacritic. And pro possibly haven't even played. Or angry gamers yelling about games they do like on Metacritic. It goes both ways. In this round, I'll read you an excerpt from a Metacritic review. I want you to tell me what game it's for. Please. Review number one. Having a blast so far. I don't mind the narrator. The gameplay is actually quite fun. The world is beautiful and enemy design isn't bad either. Lots to do in the way of quests and crafting. It has a charm. I love the exploration. Overall, it isn't bad at all. Perhaps expectations were too high from that one announcement years ago. Okay, well, that's a fairly generic review, except we know it has a narrator and a crafting system and was announced at some point in time. The game with all the crafting was that New Worlds thing by Amazon, right? But mm -hmm. did it have a narrator? I don't know, I didn't play it. I don't mind the narrator. I would say about a game like... I don't know, does Forza Horizon still have a... No, it doesn't have a... Surely, it certainly doesn't have a crafting system. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna say... I'm going to say the new world. Okay, uh, that actually was a review for Biomutant. Of course it was Biomutant. Oh yeah, the narrator! I the famously the narrator, the narrator that was very loud and you couldn't turn off. Oh, okay, well that <laughs> makes a difference, but I thought, I thought the narrator yeah. was alright. Oh yes, of course, famously having a narrator. Famously a game I spent <laughs> a lot of time playing this year. And then, I don't mind the narrator, suggests a lot of people really hated the yeah, narrator. Yeah, there were a few, yeah. God, I didn't get that one. It's actually a game I definitely played this year. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, review number two. So disappointed. No big, crazy opening story. Just a boring little run around and then it starts. No real storyline, same as the last game. So why did I expect more? The first three games in this series were great. Did you fire your storyline producer after three? Cause man, it sucks. Seems CGI and open world concept takes precedence over the game making some sort of sense. Yay. Yeah, it's all these CGI video games these yeah. days. All of the computer-generated images in Bring my video games. Bring back the live-action video yeah. game. Bring back Bring FMBs, back I say. Leap. Quantum Break. Um, yeah, and storyline producers are woefully, yeah. uh, woefully neglected. You don't see many storyline producers, producers these days, do you? Could it be Call of Duty Vanguard? I didn't play it, but they have like they normally have a big spectacular thing, don't they? I don't know, maybe it's called GT. Open world concept. Yeah, they're all open world. All, all games, are, literally all games are open world, Andy. Show me one non-open world game. You can't. Tetris. <laughs> you can't. No, Tetris is open world. You just got to get to the upper levels. Okay. And then it <laughs> if you're yeah, good it enough. It takes a while. You know, it but eventually it becomes an open yeah. world game. Yeah. I don't know. What is it? Far Cry 6. That came out this year. Sure that just did. came out. Just, just now. came out. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. Well, maybe you'll get this one, number three. This follow-up neglects the very core that this franchise was built on and goes in a completely different direction. The atmosphere is completely non-existent and 90% of the game lacks any sort of tension. The plot and the dialogue are flat out laughable. The story, boss battles and time spent at various locations feel rushed. The enemies remind me of characters from Lord of the Rings or Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, yeah. Resident Evil Village. Is it Resident Evil Village? Is that Resident Evil Village? That is Resident Evil yeah. Village, correct. Well so done. wait, they're saying the werewolves look like something out of Lord of the Rings? Yeah, I guess so. I guess that's what... I mean, I'd like to see their version of Lord of the Rings. It sounds badass. Dungeons and Dragons wishes it had a giant werewolf Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, next review. Okay. 80 quid for a blank DLC with only five and a third levels, three of which are rehashes of previous content, plus not even on Steam. Someone didn't like installing the Epic Games Store then, did they? <laughs> <laughs> now five levels tells me that this isn't an open world game. Five and a third. Level. Five and a third level tells me this isn't an open world game because that's not how you describe portions of open world games, really. Uh, it's... Did I play it? Hmm. Yeah. I did? A lot. A lot? Uh, gotta be Hitman 3, right? What is it? Hitman 3. Of course. 
Correct. Yeah. That is a Metacritic review of Hitman 3. That's the problem when you make your entire game interconnected. Everyone just assumes everything's DLC. Yeah. You jerks. Hitman 3 was great. Because the Carpathian Mountains level yeah, is on Yeah, it's linear train. and it's, yeah. not really a Hitman level. They've decided it's one third of the level. Uh... All right, your final Metacritic review. Yes. Here it comes. A great entry into a long dormant series. Some people are really nitpicking things like not being able to melee dead bodies, but no smart ass comments from the characters. Clearly turned off your audio. The characters are witty, funny, and have personality. The guns are all punchy and feel viable, with an interesting rarity slash attachment system that always makes me hesitate and consider when to switch weapons and gear. Who would complain about not being able to melee dead bodies? <laughs> what the heck? I know what this is, because when I played this game, I thought it is a travesty that I can't melee the dead bodies. And it's back for blood. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna have to pass. I'm gonna kick myself on a game. It's uh, back for blood. Back I, for actually, blood. <laughs> I actually wrote that review. Is, Whoa, is what you, uh, damn. What you don't realize. I didn't. I'm, I'm, um, yeah, back for blood lover 29. Yeah, are, that's me. Yeah. Wow, you are Ridden Smasher. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. 420. One of my many. Yeah. One of my many pen names. Wow. Uh, yeah. So not really. Mm, it's not really a resurrection of mm. franchise. It's a. Yeah. Okay. Fine. All right. All right. Okay. Well, let me top up your scores. You got two out of five for the Metacritic reviews. I'll take that, to be honest, that felt... You're clearly not spending enough time on Metacritic reading angry people shouting at clouds. <laughs> Any time is too much time on Metacritic. Yeah. Uh, okay, correct. I got that one. You got... Yay. Well, you got two. You got Resident Evil Village. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, wait. You did the same See, as I've mine. already started to wipe my memory of the beginning of this <laughs> This <place>. round. <laughs> wow. Like goldfish over here. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, All right, well, you did, you did get the same as Mike in that round. Oh, you okay. Also got two. That's good. All right, are you ready for the next round, Mike? So. Yeah. Going well, is it? Uh, moving on to the next round, round okay. four, yep. which is the music round. Okay, cool. I might, yeah, I might have a sip of coffee to help okay. me. Okay. But other coffees are available. Of course they are. Costa does a very nice festive latte as well. So. <laughs> Do, 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 that I don't was some music there, an original composition by me. <laughs> okay. But have you been paying attention to the musical stylings of this year's games? Never! I'm going to play you some snippets of game music released this year, and I want you to tell me what game they're from. Please. You thought I'm dead and done. You'll know for sure tonight. I'm rising from my shallow grave And I'm molding my switchblade tight cuz I'm getting like drums I'm getting vocals I listen to the lyrics, am I allowed? Yeah Okay, rising from a shallow grave I'm a revenant baby And I'll be back, okay So it's um I mean, obviously, it's some sort of like comedy game because, like, there's nothing in Resident Evil Village where it's like I'm a werewolf, baby, yeah, that kind of thing. Um, it's a song about being a revenant and being back and being able to be exploded with dynamite and still come back. Is it something from Deathloop? Is it like a Deathloop tune? Could be from like a Call of Duty Zombies thing. No, maybe. They do fun stuff sometimes. Is that your guess? Uh, yeah, Call of Duty Zombies. Okay, uh, that is actually from Deathloop. That is oh. uh, The Revenant, which is a song by the Frank Spicer, uh, the visionary Frank oh. Spicer. It plays around his house on the radio and inside oh. his, uh, his abode. I didn't, oh, I didn't think of like in-game music. I was thinking of like, it's the theme for a mm. game. Some of them are themes, some of them are... Ah, uh, okay, all right. Well, I'm going to factor that into my yeah. my mental calibrations all right. calculations. It's, it's thematically bang on. <laughs> So, yeah. All right. Um, and it, but his song does not talk about being kicked in the butt, and whether we'll come back from that. No, it's true. All right, good job. That's the point. Okay. Ready for piece of music number two. This is definitely. Um, so I'm just going to enjoy it for a bit. It's cheery. It feels. 
Sega Blue Skyz. But it's definitely, you're going to pause it before she sings the name of the game, presumably. It's very Japanese. Um, they did release a Monkey Ball collection, didn't they, of some sort? Is it from a Monkey Ball? But it's, it's Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania, right? Correct. That yeah. is the main theme from Super what Monkey a Ball Banana Mania. That's a delicious theme. What was it about it that said Super Monkey Ball to you? Uh, just very cutesy, sort of like upbeat, kind of Japanese style. It just felt very Monkey Ball-y. Cool. All right. Well done. That's the point. Here's your yep. next piece of music. Tell me what game this is from. Okay. Fantasy, like a Final Fantasy sort of thing. Oh, okay. It's got kind of an Adam's Family sort of like harpsichordy vibe. Well, I thought it was kind of fantasy, but I still think it's like RPG battle music. Okay. So maybe like I don't know. Is it like Yakuza: Last Judgment or something? It sounded a bit piratey, but I mean, I can't remember any piratey games this year, unless it was like the Sea of Thieves expansion that they released this year. Interesting. The Pirate's Life stuff from Sea of Thieves? Uh, nope, that is from the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. It's the oh. music that plays when you do a great deduction with Herlock right. Shrones. <laughs> Can you get that now? The, yeah, the I deduction saw, I music? Saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a bit of a mishmash, but I get it. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, you spinning around and activating spotlights with a click. I wish I could do that in real life. Yeah, it's imagine. pretty great. Here's the next piece of music. Okay. Tell me what this is from. Okay. Neither skin nor bone Just a thought is all I've got Now my cover's blown At the bottom of a lake of It's like tense, kind of more modern. This has got to be Psychonauts, because again, it's like a comedy, it's a comedy kind of rock song where it's like, I'm singing what I'm feeling. Oh, it's um, it's Jack Black's song from Psychonauts 2. I'm singing what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's, it's Psychonauts, right? Psychonauts 2. Yep, that Hooray! is the song sung by the Psy King in uh, Psychonauts 2. Is that 2, Jack Black? As portrayed by Jack Black. Yeah. Correct. Oh, well done. Nice. As you correctly identified, that is the voice of Jack Black mm -hmm. playing the Psy King. Do I get an extra point? You do not get an extra <laughs> point, sorry. I guess if I knew it was Psy King too, I would also know it was Jack Black. Yeah, that's true. All right, but I am—I will give you one point. Thanks. So well done. Yes, yeah, so it would be really mean if you yeah. didn't give me any points for that correct answer. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, some <laughs> you need knocking down a peg or two. Yeah. Uh, all right, next piece of music. Totally tropical. What does this say? It's Mario Golf, right? Um, is it Mario Golf? Whatever it's called, Super Rush. Or yes, whatever. Mario <laughs> Golf Super Rush. That is the Bonnie Greens theme. Yep, I've heard that a few times. You know they've released some new courses. Yeah, I know. We're going to need to get on that. We're going to have to play that, I'm afraid. Balls are going to be twisted. It's from uh, Bonnie Greens, which is the just nice green one. Oh, OK. I definitely but, thought uh, I got a sort of... Yeah, it's got some like um, marimba, I think, yeah. playing on it. Okay. But uh, yeah. Fine. So, well done, Mario cool. Golf. Give you a point for that. Nice. And final bit of music. Yep. What's this from? What's this from? This feels like a very paired back piano piece, but it's, it feels familiar. It's a waltz. I know that about music. It's in a waltz tempo. It's very sweet and gentle. Is it, is it a sort of, um, is it a song that was originally chip tune and then has been like remastered to be like played on a single instrument that no, is the piano? No, it is an original piece of music. 
Oh, uh, is it... Um, think, Jane, think. Undertale 2. Um, it's not called Undertale 2. Uh, and what was that game that is like an anagram of Undertale or something? What is it called? <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. Give me the pen. Uh, oh, I need to I need to fetch it. Was it called Tail Under? No. Okay. Was it called R Returnal? <laughs> Was it Returnal? <laughs> yeah, the stealth sequel to Undertale. <laughs> yeah, 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 Returnal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, Under Tail. Begins with a D. D Delta Room. I can't, I can't, okay. I can't. My brain is in no fit state to work out this anagram. It's Delta Rune. Delta Rune, of course. Chapter it's two. Delta Rune. It's right <laughs> there in the letters. <laughs> it's right there in front right of me. Right there in front of me. Delta Rune. Correct. Yes. Oh my God. I can't believe I got, I got there. Nice. Well done. I'm like doing the anagram in my head again. It's the bloody anagrams around. It's the, yeah, the castle town music from nice. uh, Delta Rune. Delta Rune 2. Well done. That was a good round. You only dropped a point there. Eternal Ud. Eternal Ud. How we... Eternal Ud. How can I make this any clearer? That will be the next game. That will be. Yeah. That will Toby be Undertale Foxes. 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next Eternal Ud. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Well, well, let's see if you can make up some points. Delta Room. In the final round, the lightning round. Okay. Okay. Hit me with lightning. I deserve it. So finally this year, Mike, we have the lightning round. Quick questions, looking for quick answers, provided by you, quickly. Right. Here we go. Resident Evil Village featured tall vampire lady, Lady Alcina Dimitrescu, who was, as we have established, very tall. But how tall exactly? Capcom released an official height. What was it? I'll give you two inches either way. Was it taller than 10 feet? Was she taller than a basketball net? Uh, she was nine foot three. Am I just out? Nine foot four. I maybe think it wasn't quite as tall as you think. So is it like eight foot nine or something like that? Nine foot she two. Was, she was nine foot six. <laughs> yeah, give it to give it me. Oh, Christmas! All right, it can be my James. Christmas present. I, yeah, I, or right. a half point. I, I think that was so close. I'll okay. accept a half. Fine. Point. No, we'll give you a point. It's fine. Okay. It wasn't far off. It was, it was sub close. ten. Sub ten. But. Yeah. Oh, oh. Next question. On his Instagram page, Superman and Witcher actor Henry Cavill teased a secret project by posting a picture of a script with the words blurred. Internet sleuths immediately unblurred it and found it was full of references to which gaming series? Mass Effect. The blurred photo said, Hi, I'm Henry Cavill and I would like to be in the Mass Effect movie. Please put me in the Mass Effect movie. I would like to be Garrus, please, or something. Yeah, it featured uh, words such as Cerberus, Reaper, Geth and Talizora. So good job, Henry. Brilliant. Nice Cheers, work Henry. there, teasing that. <laughs> <laughs> good tease. Good, good work. Uh, okay, next question. This year in video game films saw the release of the third film based on this series of games, starring a new character not seen in the games called Cole Young. What is the series? Third film in a movie franchise about video games. Okay, so it's not a Resident Evil movie because there's been about 13 or 14 or possibly tw 21. Can you think of any other video game movies that came out this year? Video game movies that came out this year. Uh, and they created a new character. Mortal Kombat. Cole Young is the name of um, is the name of New Young Morpheus in uh, the new Matrix film, which I know is the fourth film. And is based think on about a series it, of games. It's, no, it is. The Matrix is the video game, Andy. Right, You're not okay. paying attention. The, the Matrix, Matrix is online. one big video game. Yeah, we all live in a robots. simulation. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, what is it? I don't know. Uh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, uh, of course. That was a Mortal Kombat film, like back in the spring. Mm -hmm. Correct. Kombat. Yep, it was the Mortal He's Kombat He's an MMA film. guy, right? He's an MMA fighter who ends up embroiled in the fight for Outworld with the various Mortal Kombat characters. Did they not faves? have enough characters to choose from? No. They're like, ah, oh, you know what? The problem with Mortal Kombat is we just don't quite enough, have enough characters to make a movie out of this. Next question. Big okay. news this year around the fallout of the Activision Blizzard scandal, one result of which was the changing of the name of Overwatch's cowboy character, Jesse McCree. Yeah. What is he called now? Is he called Cole something as well? Does he have Cole in his name? It's something else cowboy -y. Mm -hmm. And I did know what it was, but I think I've probably forgotten. Um, what is a good cowboy name? Uh, it's not like Mr. Marston, because that would be infringement on the, on Rockstar. Uh, what's a good cowboy name? 
Um, he's called Clint Eastwood now. <laughs> I oh, it just all these other coals are popping into my head like Coal Train and Cole Porter and uh, <laughs> Old King Cole. Old King Cole, yeah, the merry, King Cole. That, merry, that merry old soul. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Oh. Cole shooting at gunface. Correct, it was Cole shooting at gunface. Good work, Mike. Thanks. What an excellent correct Come answer. Come on, give me half for Cole. It's Cole Cassidy. Cassidy, that was it. I'm going to throw it to adjudicator James. That's a half. I literally, that is literally 50% of the answer that I've got. If we're giving half points at all. Oh, fine. You're a soft touch, James. <laughs> <laughs> Save by whiskey. Let's get, oh, sorry, I guess I got my notes wrong. <laughs> Let me just give you the point. Another there. coal, what are the odds? Yeah, back to back coals. Uh, question five. Uh, in a big reveal recently, Fortnite revealed the face and the voice of the mysterious character The Foundation, leader of the organization The Seven, who had previously only appeared wearing a helmet. Which actor was revealed to have taken on the role? Uh, I mean, Keanu Reeves has been in Fortnite, but it's probably not him. I don't know. But I would love it to have been Ariana Grande. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ariana Grande. Is it Ariana Grande? She was in. She was in. That was Mike's guess. <laughs> <laughs> no way! All right. Well, it's not mine. Okay. Okay. Fine. Is it The Rock? Correct. It's Dwayne yes. The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Impossible. I watched you die. I got over it. Wait, The Rock is in it. The Rock is now in Fortnite as the foundation. I'm surprised he can fit in it, to be honest. Foundation <laughs> sounds a bit like rock. Well, sort of like rock, isn't it? Well, rock, foundations like are often made of. Yeah. Like. So really, that was the, that was a clue that you just breeze right past. Yeah, I know. Well, what a mug. That, what you witnessed just there on camera was the last spark from my brain in 2021. And it was, it was reminding me that, Jane, you did see this story about yeah. The Rock being in Fortnite. And that was it. That was the last thing my brain is going to do this year. Well, so, you've still got two more lightning round questions. Too bad. So. I'm done. <laughs> I'm okay. finished. Number six. At the end of Xbox and Bethesda's <laughs> E3 conference... <laughs> At the end of Xbox and Bethesda's E3 conference this year, okay. Deathloop developer Arcane announced a new open-world co-op vampire-based shooter <gasps> game. Yes, they did. What's it called? Oh no, the, the obvious question. Blood something. <laughs> Blood. <laughs> Blood something. Oh no, it's called Red something or other, I think. Uh, Red Knight? No. Clearly it made an impression <laughs> yeah. on Mike. It doesn't get half point. He absolutely does Is not. Is it Blood Hunt or something like that? Blood Hunt. Um, I think we can give it half a point. I, I was gonna say, I can give it to. Yeah, you can give it to my, but I think we can give you what half a point. What is it called? For red. It's called Redfall. Redfall! Yeah. So we'll give you a half point for that. Oh, okay, thank you. I, we are I appreciate soft touches. that. I appreciate that very much. You better have a plan, Jacob! Yep. Don't miss. So you, you don't get half a point. No, because it's, it's not even in the title. Because none of them are correct, yeah. Redfall. All right, and your final question. Mike, this year saw the release of the third chapter of the Dark Pictures anthology of Choose Your Own Horror Adventures. Yes. They've also announced the title of the fourth game in the anthology to release next year. I will give you a point for each Dark Pictures title you can name. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Uh, we had Man of Medan. Correct. We had the witchy one. Which, uh, was, called... which was called... Dark Pictures Man of Medan. Mm -hmm. Dark Pictures Little Hope. Correct. Dark Pictures House of Ashes. Correct. And the new one is going to be called... Dark pictures, bad monsters. Um, okay, well the third one was called uh, House of Ashes. Correct. Um, I, there's no way I will know what the fourth one was called because I don't think I've read that story. Now it's important to remember that the mind is a like a wax tablet uh -huh. and everything that it senses leaves an impression that mm -hmm. is indelible until it's overwritten. And it won't have been overwritten and so my brain knows that this game is called The Witchwood Chronicles. <laughs> uh, no, it is called Little Hope. Oh, of course it's called Little Hope. Incorrect. It is Dark Pictures, The Devil in Me is oh, the next yeah. one. So I'm sorry, you don't, you've beat three points there for Devil's Man of Land, Little Hope and House of Ashes. That was well remembered. Thanks. All right, let me top these up. So overall, Mike, you have scored 20 points. Okay, overall, Jane, you scored 16 and a half points okay. out of a possible 32. So oh. actually, you were over half, you got over half well, of the correct. 
that's a is that a passing grade? It's a passing grade. Do I but pass it is... 2021 or do I have to retake it? No, you pass 2021. Oh, thank you goodness. can move forward into 2022. Oh, thank goodness. But unfortunately, you didn't match Mike's 20 points. No, so... 20 points. Well done, Mike. Yeah, well tested. done, sir. Let's go now live to Mike. Oh, no, live. <laughs> With his victory speech. Wow. Wow. After the year we've had to take home this victory, incredible. Incredible. I'd like to thank the music round for yeah. being easy this year. <laughs> um, no, uh, that was excellent fun. Uh, have a wonderful new year. Uh, do stick with the channel. There'll be loads and loads of stuff uh, coming up. And uh, we hope you have a very happy 2022 and that you'll join us for some fun video, uh, fun video game videos. It's really. only easy because you always yell at me for making it too hard. It's true. So this is my holiday gift to you. Well, I made a quiz this year and it was a Sonic quiz and I made it far too hard. So yeah. I thought you were going to have vicious revenge, but actually you were very kind. It's a very good quiz, Andy. Thank you. It's hard work writing quizzes. You've got to pitch them just right. Yeah. Well, I like it a lot more given that I won. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it, does, it does have a major effect on whether I like the quiz or not. <laughs> All right. I feel like it's time to shut it down. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.